This is a crisis in our country. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Senator Mullen? Yeah, I, I just want to follow up uh, with uh, Ms. Bradford. You, you stated you're against single-use plastics. What, what specifically are you pointing at for single-use? What products are you talking about? Um, so definitely straws, definitely plastic bottles. I won't say anything else because I can't think of anything else right so, now. So are you for recycling and advanced recycling? Uh, no, because it doesn't work and it doesn't happen. Well, then then in your case and everything, single use at that point. If you're not for recycling, then you you can't say you're against single use and you're okay with everything else. Because if you're against I'm it, for you're facts, installer. and I think only 9% worldwide are actually recycled. That, that's why I say that we should focus more on recycling. Because if you can tell me you're for recycling, then maybe we can work to something. Because a while ago you did say you were for you were you wasn't against all of it because you got to be realistic. But you're against single use because that's what the chairman asked you. And so if you're if if, if you're for against single use, then you must be for recycling. No, because it doesn't work. Well, then that doesn't make any sense um, at all. Okay. Because you can't exist without plastic today. You, you, we've already pointed that out. And so I, I don't know what the alternative is. And we talk about this all the time. It's like Ms. Levin mentioned that uh, that glass is an alternative. Uh, but if you remember, sir, at our last hearing we had on plastic, um, I, I, for the record, I submitted the McKinsey and Company study that showed that actually plastic has a less carbon footprint than glass. So where are we moving towards? What is it that we want to look to? Uh, if, we're, if we're still for the middle class, and we've got to have manufacturing, we pointed that out, uh, that we can't do without it. Uh, we're against it, but yet everybody here is using it. I just see a lot of people having a thought process because it sounds good, but no one's actually living by what you believe. I don't have any single-use plastics in my house. You know that for a I, fact? I know that for a fact. Because what I products go, do you not have? What products? Because you just mentioned water bottles. I don't have water bottles like that in my house. But most of these water bottles are actually recycled, including the one that I'm having. So right I now. do, I am a masochist, and I do participate in recycling. I just know that it doesn't work internationally. It's not okay. adding up. Well, I, I would suggest you maybe doing your homework a little bit more when you come up here and you start talking about this stuff, that you actually understand what it is, the impact that you're talking about. I because do my homework. I do understand the impact. I do know I'm wasting my time recycling because most of it's not recycled. Then... And that's because of the industry. And the fact okay. that plastic is in everything is because the industry forced us to have it. And quit using plastics. Well, the industry should stop making them. Quit using them. If you feel that way, then I quit. I do. I just told you I do not have single-use plastic bottles in my house. I but do what I can. Against, hold on a second. You're against all plastic, but you have plastic all around you. So if you're against plastic, then don't use it. Live by what you're saying. There's a lot of people around here that I disagree with, but if you'd live it, I do live I it. I respect it. Ma'am, you don't because you have plastic on your face. You have plastic on the water bottle. You have plastic on your I feet, do you not own companies to create these things. So I cannot make these things. But until they are available, well, we're stuck with some things. I do what I can. Do you believe in, uh, do you believe that we should have solar systems? Or not solar systems, but uh, um, we, should, we should have um, solar panels on our house? I do, but I'm here to talk about so, so solar panels what's on the plastic. agenda. I mean, they are. And they're also not single use. Neither is just bottle. Um, let's go to uh, mm. Mr. Sunday. In your opening statement, you mentioned shell gas was a big reason why the United States have led the world in CO2 reduction because the energy and natural gas liquids in your manufacturing is less emission intense than overseas manufacturing, especially compared to countries like China. Can, is that correct? Yes, sir. Can you explain a little bit more about that? Yeah, as you mentioned, Clean Air Task Force looked at the methane intensities, and shale gas in Appalachia has the lowest uh, leakage of any basin in the world. Mm -hmm. And the increased use of, of natural gas produced in that region, including Pennsylvania, has been estimated to be about 60% of the reason why we led the world in reducing emissions as a country since 05. So big picture, the issue is how do you reduce emissions, keep costs down, and be reliable? That's the long-term challenge. The short-term challenge is every country out there that's relying on Russian oil and gas, we should be doing everything we can to get our energy over there because it's also going to be used more sustainably because I can guarantee you, as, and uh, you can see the Boston Globe feature from a couple years ago when an LNG tanker 
uh, came into Boston, when we got shale gas in Northeast Pennsylvania, it's the most prolific in the world. It, I, I definitely want the producer standards in my state versus Putin's regime. We saw what that led to. Do you know what the difference between the two standards are? Uh, it's, it's, it's an order of magnitude. I mean, okay. so, yeah, it's so much so that even if you count for transportation across a tanker, shale gas in the U.S. shipped across the seas is more sustainable than pipe coming in from Russia. Because they're not using electricity in the ships to bring them here? They, they have combustible motors in them? Right. Yes, sir. Okay, that's what I was thinking. And trucks to get them to point A to point B, since we can't build pipelines in the East Coast right now. Right. Uh, with that, sir, I'll yield back. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the chair of the committee has arrived, Senator Carper. Th thank, you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, before, uh, before I start uh, today, 